Hey buddies, Miss Puggy here coming after another Borderlands 3 video. Today I want to discuss out of all the weapons in Borderlands, what would really be considered the worst weapon? Now that is really a tough choice right off the bat because of the multitude of guns that are in the game. I mean, literally there's over a hundreds and hundreds of guns in this game, not counting just uniques. And it really begs the question, what really is the worst weapon? Now there's a lot of weapons that could be a strong contender for this. The first things first that could be popping in your mind is the starter pistol. Now, the starter pistol is the weapon that claptrap gives you at the very beginning now you could consider this the worst weapon because it's level one it has fixed parts it doesn't have anything going for it but in theory you could find this weapon at a higher level and a mayhem 10 with annoyed anointment like right here and it's actually not that bad of a weapon for a gray weapon it's a pretty solid vlad off weapon in fact if i really wanted to i could probably down gray board really really easily with this weapon despite it only being a starter pistol and a gray, like right there in a few seconds, we pretty much have gray board down for the count. And it really makes you think what could be worse than the starter pistol? Cause right there, it did actually really good. It killed gray board very, very easily. Mayhem 11, max level. Nothing was too, too hard about that. And then you think about some weapons that aren't actually in the base game or in the game in general, unless you have a certain DLC pack. But before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You have no idea how much helps me out. And let's get into it. Now, the DLC pack that I am referring to, as many of you probably guessed already, would be the Toy Box Weapon Pack. Now, the Toy Box Weapon Pack is just a $5 add-on. If you have the Deluxe Edition or the Super Deluxe Edition, you actually already have these weapons and you probably forgot about them because they're not nothing too phenomenal. There's two weapons and a grenade, but the one that we're primarily going to be focusing on is going to be the Gurf Blaster. Now, the Gurf Blaster is a really clever play on words of Nerf. Right off the bat, you can look at the prefixes and such. And one huge thing that is very glaring with this particular weapon is that you see it has negative 70% weapon damage right off the bat. As a baseline, this is fixed parts. It can't get worse or better than this. And right off the bat, it is pretty bad. You can see that despite it being level 72 and mayhem level 10, it doesn't have any annoyments. It cannot get any annoyments. It's going to be this fixed parts and the damage is only 8K, which is very, very sad. So with the name and the weapon stats that you saw on it, it's obviously a joke weapon. It's a play on word as a nerf, as I said, and it does shoot nerf darts, which is very, very funny to me. It's actually a really cool, comical weapon. It's meant to be a joke weapon, but that doesn't save it on being one of the worst weapons in the game or even the worst weapon in the game. I have a pretty stacked build with Moe's. You could pretty much take any gun and make it deal millions of damage with this build that I have here going. I actually used this build for a recent video if you guys want to check it out. I used it to deal tons and tons of damage with the mongrel rocket launcher if you guys want to check it out. Click on the top right. But despite this loadout with Moe's being pretty god world like, it can't actually deal that much damage. So right off the bat, I'm going to be shooting as fast as possible and with as much damage multipliers as I can so we can really see how much damage it can deal. So everything going with it, it can deal almost half a million or even a million per shot pretty consistently, which is decent. If you take into account other weapons that could potentially deal more damage with this build, it's really nothing. A million damage is like very, very little in general with this build. Like I said, the starter pistol would actually still be able to deal more damage with a fast, with a faster fire rate. On top of that, it has splash damage, which is very, very nice with Moe's, as you guys know if you're a Moe's main. This weapon, despite it being a Torg weapon, has no splash damage at all. The only splash damage you're seeing here is based off of Short Fuge with Moe's, which is ironic because there's actually another weapon that comes out of the toy box pack that I just bought. That is the Hyper Hydrator, which is actually a pretty decent weapon. I'm gonna switch over here. All the shots that it shoots deals splash damage, which for Moe's just allows it to deal phenomenally much more damage than the Girth Blaster, as I was saying before. Flash damage is really the name of the game with most, so this weapon is actually can deal a lot of damage despite it being a joke weapon. If you really compare it to this weapon, which is also a joke weapon, it doesn't deal a lot of damage. In fact, even with the starter pistol, I was actually able to beat the entire game on normal mode with just a level one starter pistol. So there's an example on how much damage the actual starter pistol can deal, even when it's at level one. Of course, at this level, it probably couldn't kill really anything, but this video is here to focus on the girth blaster. So now let's go back to 
Grave Ward and see what type of damage we can actually deal with this loaded Mose build. If you guys were interested on that playthrough of me beating the entire game with the starter pistol, there will be a link on the top right as well. But now that we're here in front of Grave Ward, let's see how much damage we'll deal. Of course, we'll wait for the arm to slam down on the ground so we could actually test it. I'm going to give it the same setup I did with the starter pistol. I'm going to exit, enter Iron Bear, going to shoot some of my rockets over here so we can deplete some fuel. And now we have some action skill and with the infernal wish active here and i'm trying to shoot as fast as possible and try to deal as much damage as possible we're actually dealing pretty decent damage here we got grave ward almost halfway but if you take in consideration just the regular starter pistol we're done with grave ward at this point and there's a lot of things going for this weapon right now to be able to deal decent damage we have minesweeper proccing we have action skill and we have the infernal wish we have max fire and skag den for short fuse and stuff like that but despite that it still doesn't deal a lot of damage with enough time of course i could kill grave ward there but the real thing that i was kind of showing you is that within the time limit that i had with the starter pistol i wasn't able to kill it now let's move on to some normal mobs so we can compare the damage there now we're just back at athenas and the girth blaster will actually deal some pretty decent damage to these enemies nothing too too great but is still able to kill some regular enemies if i really try hard enough of course it'd probably deal more damage if i activated some action skill ends but without any anointments it's a pretty hard to get this weapon to deal the max amount of damage it could potentially deal if it was able to get some anointments you could potentially see it dealing a lot more damage because of that huge limitation there isn't a lot we can actually do with this weapon so we're kind of limited to just baseline fixed parts, no elemental, no splash damage with this weapon. And sure, we're able to kill basic enemies, but what weapon can't kill basic enemies really with a decent build? And it could in fact also kill some badasses as well, but that's mainly because I'm able to deal most of my damage when sh short fuse procs and of course when the minesweeper procs as well but most of its damage is actually coming from stuff that isn't from the gun itself so there's a huge reason on why i believe this weapon is the contender or is the worst weapon in the game of course i'm always interested to hear what you guys think so if you guys think that there's a worse weapon than this literal joke weapon i would love to hear some suggestions in the comments in the description below i would love to hear if you guys found a weapon that's even worse than this and as always don't forget the like comment subscribe and i hope y'all have a great day <laughs> bye bye and the last shall be first to immerse in a pass out heat facing him up with a moxie melt till he woke up drowning in tchotchke hell more in a cave with a torch on a wall than a window arrangement of porcelain dolls